Alright guys, let's continue the testing on this Magnum Peak T7 electric mountain bike. Today's the off-road test, so uh, ahead of me there is a trail that goes up the hill, about a mile I believe. So I'm going to go up and I come down, I'll record it all, and uh, just get a feel for how this thing is on these trails. It's a pretty rocky trail, um, but it's pretty wide as you can see, it's basically this wide throughout the uh, trail. Uh, there's some little loops and valleys. There's a little hill climb up there. Uh, might be some washout. We'll have to see how it is with the recent rains. But uh, this Magnum Peak T7 is a uh, great looking EMTB. Um, a little he on the heavier side, obviously, with that 20 amp hour battery. But I should be able to ride for hours on that thing. Um, and uh, it's a. Uh, just a really cool looking e-bike from Magnum. Hydraulic brakes, 750 watt motor back there. Uh, massive gearing. I think there's, I don't know how many gears are on here, but it doesn't even say what level you're in on the paddle shifter, so you kind of have to guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, try it out here. So first time really off-roading with it. Uh, if you watch my review video, it was mostly on the street. But uh, we'll give it a shot here on this. Uh, dirt trail and see how she does so uh let's go all right let's get a little running start here i dropped the gears down i'm in sport mode and this magnum has a torque sensor so i'm gonna have to work on this trail here the more power i give it the more power i get Versus, oh, it's a little wet here. Versus the cadence sensors. Yeah, there's definitely some wash out here. So this should be a good test. Mm. Definitely getting a workout so far. Mm. Suspension is working great. Uh, this is probably the best suspension, front suspension e bike I've ever had. I need to add a bunch of C-post. I gotta order a sun tour. But uh boost it up here to touring level a turbo. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, it's a little better. Still working, but I'm getting more power now. I've done this before on just regular cadence sensor e-bikes with rear hubs. You know, you can just power through the hills with a cadence sensor since it just comes on according to what level you're in. But with these torque sensors, the more power you give it, the faster you go. Nice morning out here, Sunday morning. Big hill. Gears here, turbo. Yeah. Stand here. I forgot to turn my app on. Here comes more hill. It's gonna be a lot funner going down. This is all washed out. Yeah, you need to work. I'm in the uh, fourth highest PAS level turbo. And my legs are burning. Whew. 
That was the biggest hill climb there. Yeah. We'll put it in the loose level. Tires doing well. Oh. Almost ran into that tree. It's like something made a work around already. Tail, but pretty comfortable on it. No complaints. Now right, here's the end. I think it's only like half a mile. I gotta uh, turn my app on the way back. See exactly how long this is. All right, here's the end. All right. Yeah, man, you definitely get a workout on a bike like this. That's for sure. All right, let's do the return trip. Bring it down to the sport level. Turn the app on so we'll see exactly how long this trail is. Breaking on this is just fantastic. Yeah, that's a uh, head chopper right there. Scouts up here clearly logs.
Yeah, it's a very comfortable ride. No complaints. Front fork's doing an excellent job. Got a little wet there. Trying to see the sides here where a little bit smoother terrain. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what makes it fun. Get a thumb throttle going here. Help it out with pedaling. Here's what's gonna get rocky again. These rocks come really fast at you when you're doing 20 miles an hour. You gotta watch it. Oh shit, I lost it there. Slow down. There's a bit of water. Coming up to the end. Good braking there. There's my line. Oh man. There's one more, uh, there's a gravel trail you've seen before in my videos. Let's go hit that, then I'm gonna wrap this video up. Give you a few more parting thoughts on the Magnum Peak T7. I'll wash out. All right, here's the gravelly trail. Pretty good footing here. This is mainly loose gravel. So. Let's get a little throttle action going. There we go. Feel that back tire come out a bit. I'm not sitting on it. Good spot at the end of the video here. Uh, one negative about the bike is the kickstand placement, so you do get wheel locked up um, on the bike. I uh, much prefer it back here, I don't know why I couldn't do that. But um, other than that, there's not much to complain about. And this is a very purpose driven, purpose built e bike for what I just did trails. Uh, it's not a street rider. Because again, you're going to exercise a lot more on this thing. You get a much better workout. So that, uh, well, my watch is saying 1.41 miles. So I think that trail was a mile long. And the 0.41 was just the second part of the trail. My heart rate is at 121 BPM. So, you can see it's a much better uh, 
Picture's of you, bud. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, $29.99. Click the link in my description if you want to pick up one of these things. You know, if you're looking for a uh, mountain bike and you want exercise, but you want help assist going up those uh, tough hills and check out this. I'll check out the T5 as well, which is the 500 watt version. I think it's around $26.99, something like that, a little bit cheaper. Um, exact same bike, just a little bit different specs. Smaller, uh, 15 amp hour battery, 500 watt motor. And that's really all you need on, on a mountain bike, I think, overall. It might be a little bit overkill for the true hardcore guys out there, but um, it is a cool looking e bike and uh, I'm going to enjoy riding this summer. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. More e bike videos coming soon, crisscrossed. I'm out.